morning, everybody. Wow, it's been, hmm, it's been a slow morning today and it really got me thinking about the importance of having like a morning routine, a morning ritual to get me started and to put me in the right mindset for the day. And I was actually <laughs> laughing to myself because every morning I actually redecorate a vignette in my home. Usually it's here in my studio and it just gets my creativity going. I don't know what it is, it just like, it makes me feel happy when I'm redecorating. So I thought today I want to redecorate the console table with you guys and or this little cabinet and give you some tips on how to achieve like a cohesive look. Just my thought process behind it. Now, before we get started, I do wanna say thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. So Ritual is the obsessively researched and transparently made multivitamin. And I don't know about you, but I don't have the perfect diet. Now Ritual helps people fill the gaps in their diets. There's no fillers, colorants, or shady additives. You take two of these really cute capsules a day and it provides 10 nutrients to support a strong, foundation for your health. So I've been taking Ritual right before I start my morning redecorating phase. I always put it next to my coffee or my tea. That way I know every single day that I get to take it and I get my multivitamins in. I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. So this essential vitamin for men contains high quality nutrients like vitamin A, D, omega-3, and it's formulated specifically for men. They also make one for women, just in case you were curious. Ritual can be delivered straight to your door for only about a dollar a day. You're getting all of these multivitamins. So if you're interested in checking out Ritual, make sure you go ahead and click that link down below in my description box. Use my code at checkout for 10% off your first three months. Okay, I took my vitamins, I'm feeling good. I have my matcha tea, okay and let's start decorating this cabinet together. So, I always like to have a clean canvas. So I take everything off and start moving stuff around, you guys. This is just what I do, this is what I love. Anytime I get a chance to use my favorite lamp, I do. And this one is, uh, if you've been following me for a while, this is not a stranger to you, it's one of my favorite things. The lampshade is actually from Etsy and the wavy base is vintage. Um, I like adding lamps because not only is it functional, you can use it as a light, but it adds kind of this like triangular shape. And then I like to layer that with, uh -huh. I've been loving these books also. It's just like a classic um, combo, three little Chanel books. And normally I like to keep things like super perfect, but now I'm like kind of making it more messy and not so perfect. You know what I mean? So. When I am styling up my cabinets, I'm always thinking about like the experience people get if they were to visit my studio and scent is very important. I'm gonna add my candle by Modev. If you haven't picked one of these up yet, go ahead and do so. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, it's like a warm, cozy hug of amber and driftwood. When we were creating this candle, you guys, we really wanted to make something we really wanted the set to kind of bring in mother nature into your homes. And when I'm telling you, it is so delicious. It's so, so delicious. Mm. <gasps> okay, I also love how the label matches all of my neutrals, okay? So good. This next item that I'm going to add is actually I've been doing it a lot lately is layering this art piece that I got from Target behind the lamp. And this just adds so much visual interest. And even just like that, it looks so nice having a trio of different elements that are kind of playing with each other and against each other. Mm. I love it, I love it. So up next, I wanna add a stack of books to this side. And one of my favorite ways to decorate a console or a cabinet is to kind of create different levels. And I'm gonna make like almost like a U shape. So I'm gonna keep the middle empty and simple. That way there's a little bit of a breathing room. And on this side, I'm gonna add something a little bit taller and sculptural. So, oh, I feel like we're echoing. 
think I want to do this guy. I think I'm going to add her. And I like this because it almost mimics the um, art piece that we have. Let me see what happens if I add a second piece. I love doing like bowls like this because it's elevated from the surface and gives me a little bit of color. Oh, not bad. I like that actually. I like that. What do we think? Okay, so when you're decorating any surface, don't be afraid to layer your objects. For example, putting an art behind something or adding a secondary piece and putting it more towards the foreground and pushing something back. That way you're creating depth and dimension. Not everything is on the same sort of line. And that's really gonna help you just elevate your style and elevate your space. I literally do this every single day and I just like to switch things up and it makes me feel good when my space is kind of ever changing, ever evolving. And it also helps me to hone in a little bit better on my personal style. So comment down below your favorite surface to style. Is it a coffee table? Is it your shelves? Or is it a console? Let me know. Oh, let me get my phone. Let me get my coffee. Here's a little vignette that we styled together. Oh, it looks so good, you guys. I swear, anytime I use this lamp, I just like, I love it so much. And then these are actually vintage. I got this one from Seattle. Um, this one I got from an antique mall, but I'm almost certain it's from Restoration Hardware. I've seen something super similar online, but I was lucky to find it in a vintage shop. Come here, Marble. Come here. Come here. <laughs> no, come here. Don't run away from me, you silly boy. Oh. <sighs> You're a silly boy. You're just a silly boy, but I love you. Okay, everybody off the bed. We gotta make it. Come on. Come on, everybody down. Down. Ginger, off. Down. Look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feet. Me! <laughs> I forgot to mention our new bed frame actually also just got delivered not too long ago. It's from the brand Soft Frame. I'll link them down below. They have such beautiful, okay, look at this like fabric. It's a very affordable, modern take on an upholstered headboard. And if you're looking for that like really nice and luxe, almost like a restoration hardware look, this was I think for the whole, for the frame and for the headboard, a little under a thousand, or I think it was like 1100, which if you compare it to like really high-end brands, it's a deal you guys, it's a deal. So I'll link that down below for you too, just in case you're feeling inspired. A lot has happened in the last few days, and let's just say I'm trying to get my life together. As you can see behind me, messy. <laughs> I feel like I said yes to a lot of projects this month and next, and I'm feeling a little, ah! Like, what did I do to myself? Um, but I will say I'm not complaining. I'm trying to just like make sure everything goes smoothly. Um, I'm actually in the process of editing a photo that I'm going to submit for a brand. Oh my gosh, Andrew just sent me a photo of a Frenchie that he's looking at. Do we see that? So we're actually thinking of getting a friend for Marble because he just, he's very playful and he wants to play with Ginger so bad, but Ginger's just like old, you know, and she's not, she's not about to like jump around with Marble. So we've kind of just been like, looking and thinking and um, dreaming of another puppy. So anyway, we're thinking of another French Bulldog because we just want two. Marble is so precious and we want like a, another little cutie for Marble. So anyway, by the way, I know I've been saying that I'm gonna do a home decor haul soon. I promise I'm filming one and hopefully by the time you're seeing this, it's already filmed because I actually ordered an antique for my birthday. My birthday's on the 20th and before in the past, I would ask for like 
a bag, some ready to wear. This year, I wanted an antique and I can't wait to get it. It's a little crazy and I can't believe I found this piece because whew, you're just gonna have to wait and see. It's, it's stunning, period, okay, period. Ooh, someone from Van Cleef just emailed me. Hi Arvin, hope you're having a wonderful year so far. Say hello. Don't you have a birthday coming up soon? Girl, this is, she's good. Reyna, you are good. So I was actually thinking of getting a jewelry piece for my birthday, but I just can't decide. And I feel like for my big 30, my dirty 30, then I should get like some fine jewelry. But I just like, I'm getting anxious actually just thinking about it because in the past I like knew exactly what I wanted for my birthday. And when you get old, I feel like it's just like, I don't know, it's just not as like, it doesn't feel as special. I don't know, maybe it's everything that's happening and all the projects and being so busy that I haven't had time to just like sit around and think of what I want for my birthday. Do you guys still ask for things for your birthday? Like I actually, I'll, I'll tell Andrew what I like, but I don't really tell him like, hey, you should buy this for me. Usually I just like, I, I want something small because I, I feel bad, I don't wanna ask for like, really expensive things. If it's like a luxury item, I'll buy it for me, for myself, for my birthday, you know what I mean? So I'm curious if you guys still ask like your significant other, your husband, your wife for like special things for your birthdays. Let me know. Hi, Gingy. What are you doing? Hello, hello. Say hello to everybody. Okay, goodbye. All right, I know you want a treat. Here you go. Okay. Do you want one too, Marble? Do you want one too? Okay, I don't think I have your treats up here though. Okay, come on. Good boy. Good job, Marble. Good boy. Okay, you're a good boy. So I just got done shooting a little vignette for the Olano candle. By the time you're watching this, it already would have been launched, but I wanna tell you a little bit of what is inside. There is patchouli, driftwood, amber, and I really wanted this candle to feel like we're bringing in Mother Nature into our homes, and it's the very first luxury formula that Modev has ever done. Make sure you go ahead and click the links down below in my description box. We just got done with all of our work for the day and I really need to just relax. I've been finding these last few days have been like go, 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 like work, 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 and I'm having a hard time trying to balance everything, so I'm gonna try to take it easy today. Ooh, did you just fart? <laughs> Andrew got us some Chinese food. Oh, I'm so hungry, you guys. I haven't eaten all day. Um, we got, we love hot and sour soup. Mild, not too spicy. And what else did you get, babe? Mongolian beef and then Ooh. tofu and vegetables. Some Mongolian beef. And then we also always get tofu and veggies. Yum. All right, so Andrew and I actually just got done eating some dinner and I have some work to do before I can relax for the evening. I actually just got some really exciting emails. One from Kyle, he is the brand manager over at European Bath. We are working on a renovation project together for my home and I'm kind of picking out my hardware and I can't decide if I should go for like an antique brass or more of like a polished brass. I don't know, let me know if you have like a preference in your homes, like are you finding polished brass to be like too much or I don't know, let me know. I need some input. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, sound off in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.